Well, this weekend, Dateline Schools, we're learning about the Meet Up, Eat Up program and the other summer programs that are providing food for local kids here in the Portier and Area School District. Tell us all about it. My special guest is the Director of Food and Nutrition Services for the district, Mary Kurkowski. And Mary, I know in the past, um, not counting last year because of the pandemic, but previous to that, you had several sites around the community for kids to get meals for the Meet Up, Eat Up program. You still offering those this year or is that program a little bit different because of what you're doing with summer school? It is different this year. Um, we, since we're having eight school sites in the past, we would only have two to four school sites. We have eight full school sites. Um, we are not going out um, to the parks and rec areas but we are inviting any of those groups if they wanna to participate to come into the buildings and get breakfast and or lunch if they want. So what eight school buildings are you serving at this year? We are serving at five elementary schools, Keewaden, Garfield, Cleveland, Indian Woods, Woodrow Wilson, and we have one middle school, Holland Woods, and both high schools, Port Huron High and Port Huron Northern. And you'll see a little meet up and eat up program schedule similar to this, you can go on our website and um, it's there, you can print it off and it shows the breakfast times and the lunch times. And so you don't have to be a student at that school. You, it's a, that's open to anybody who happens to be in that. Absolutely, you can, and the good part is like, if you're maybe a uh, brother or sister's going, but you're a, th a three-year-old, you know, you're dropping them off, that three-year-old can run in with the, you know, grab their breakfast, take it back home with them. Um, we do have some waivers, which are nice this year because of the pandemic probably go back to normal summer next year, but um, the waivers are nice because um, they can take it and go. So you don't have to wait around. So if you're picking up your child from summer school and you have other siblings, um, children at home, you can grab a meal for them. They can take it with them. Is this uh, also being done in other districts around the county too? I'm not sure in the, if anyone else, I, we may be the only one in St. Clair County offering the Meet Up and Eat Up this year. I am not 100% sure. There are other programs throughout the state that are continuing to do Meet Up and Eat Up. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure about St. Clair County, but. Okay, and this is all federally funded too, right? Not district funded? Correct, this is federally funded program and um, you know, they're, they're still pushing to have as many sites available as possible because people are still, you know, not back to 100% from the pandemic. You know, families are still suffering the, you know, work issues based on the pandemic and layoffs and all that. So trying to do our part and making sure that kids are getting meals and um, especially the children and um, hope they come and join us. And we don't want anyone to feel like they can't come and get a meal because they're not in summer school. It is open to the to everyone, 18 and under. So we'll be back with more tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Hunter.